The Idaho State men's basketball team enters the week ranked dead last in the Big Sky Conference standings, but the Bengals look to snap their three-game losing streak in the first of a two-game homestand. Bengals hosting Northern Arizona tonight. The Lumberjacks ranked 10th in the Big Sky. ISU trailed by as much as 20 in the second, but they began to close the gap. The dunk from Novak to Paulovich. ISU trails 66-51 later. Bailet Moxon knocks down a huge three ball from the corner. Bengals cut the lead to eight. Then, just over three minutes to play, Ethan Telfair takes the lane for the layup. ISU trails 75-71. On the inbounds play, the Lumberjacks can't handle it, and Telfair gets the bucket. The Bengals trail by just two. And then they tie the game on a pair of free throws to make it 78 all. But Marcus DeBerry knocks down a huge three to take the lead with just under a minute to go. Bengals respond. Telfair kicks it out to Gino Luscondo. Hits the three ball, and the game is tied at 81 with 38 ticks to go. The game goes into overtime, and in the extra session, Robert Jones, the third, gets the layup, tying the game at 90. Then with 9.5 seconds left, Eric Knockett hits one of two free throws to take the lead. The Bengals win this one 91-90 in overtime. Now the Idaho State women's team picked up a 64-51 victory over NAU tonight in Flagstaff. Sailor Grandin led the Bengals with 20. ISU is now 5-4 in league play and in Provo the BYU Cougars playing the number one ranked